Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to look at the structure of the cytochrome P450 enzyme, which is the main enzyme involved in cell biotic metabolism in the body. So we are going to look at the structure of this cytochrome P450 enzyme and the mechanism of action of this enzyme. So cytochrome P450, as the name implies, the P450 here stands for the fact that the enzymes absorb light of wavelengths 450 nanometers, that is um, let's say it absorbs light of this particular wavelength as, as compound this enzyme is called a P450 as the name implies. So this enzyme is normally found in the liver and the main role of this enzyme is to be involved in xenobiotic metabolism. So when we say xenobiotic, xenobiotic is just any foreign substance that enters the body which the body must get rid of it. A typical example of a xenobiotic is a drug. So when you're taking a drug, the body does everything possible to get rid of the, of the drug out of the body. And a drug is a typical non-xenobiotic substance which enters the body. And the body must get through or move it through a series of processes through what you call a bioactivation process. So a bioactivation process whereby which a xenobiotic metabolism converts, let's say, an inactive substance to an active form so that it can be excreted, excreted from the body. So... The cytochrome P450 is a group of enzymes which are involved in a xenobiotic metabolism. They are normally found in the liver. Yeah, they are found predominantly in the liver and they help in the drug metabolism. Their main role is to make sure that all the drug or every xenobiotic you ingest in your body is getting rid of or excreted after its use. So when there's a bioactivation process by the cytochrome P450, the main role is to help in the excretion. Most of these drugs we ingest in are what you call pro drugs, that is, they are inactive. So, when they get in the body, they must be activated. And the activation is just by an insertion of an oxygen atom or making it more polar so it can be excreted from the body. So, let's get to know the structure of the cytochrome P50 enzyme and its mechanism of action in the body. So, this is how the cytochrome P50 enzyme looks like. The active site of the enzyme is made of um, a heme group. So as seen here, this is the active site of the enzyme. It is made of several secondary structures of food or peptide chain. You can have an alpha helix, you can have a beta sheet, you can have random coils, all in the same enzyme because enzymes are proteins. The active site is made of a heme group as shown here. It's a heme group. And the heme group is made of a central atom, central ion atom bonded to four nitrogen atoms so this ion atom is bonded to four nitrogen atom and this is the structure of the heme now this heme is found in also also found in hemoglobin and myoglobin the ion is held in space or which is made stable beneath by a cysteine amino acid so the central ion here is held in space or let's say it's made stable by a cysteine amino acid beneath it and that makes the central ion more stable for it to carry out its activity. The main role of the enzyme or the ion in the cytochrome is to help in transfer of the oxygen to make the substance or the non-polar substance more polar by inserting an oxygen atom in the substance. This central or resulting complex is what they call a porphyrin ring. So the porphyrin ring as seen here is made of a central ion atom bonded to four nitrogen atoms. I seen here when made stable by a beneath cysteine amino acid. So this is basically the mechanism or shorthand mechanism of the cytochrome P of T enzyme. If let's say it is a drug substance and this drug runs through the actions of the enzyme. So this is the enzyme. The enzyme carries an oxygen atom on the ion. And this oxygen atom is inserted into the drug to make it non-polar. Now, this process is what you call a bioactivation process. So, it is polar. It becomes more polar and it can easily be excreted. This short process is called a bioactivation. That is, the drug is made active so that it can be metabolized or made polar. So, it can be metabolized in the aqueous system of the body. Know that if the drug is polar, then it can be metabolized. If it is non-polar, it cannot be metabolized. So, the drug runs through the cycles of the cytochrome P50 enzyme so that it becomes bioactive. 
and the bioactivation process done by just inserting an oxygen atom into the drug to form this active drug. So in a, just a short step, the porphyrin ring of the enzyme bonds to oxygen and become oxidized, as seen here. And when this oxidized cytochrome of G enzyme bonds to the drug, it inserts one of these oxygen atoms into the drug to make it active. So this is just a shorthand step of the action of the site P450 enzyme. So let's look at the detailed mechanism of the cytochrome P450 enzyme. So this is just a shorthand mechanism of the cytochrome P450 enzyme. As we said earlier, the enzyme basically have a reductant and the reductant it has S N A D P H which is more of a flower protein. So this one is a reduced N A D P H which is called a reduced flower protein. And the oxidized form here is the one with the plus that means it has lost an electron. So this one acts as the reductant in the action of the cytochrome P450 enzyme. Now, in basic terms, what happens is, just in a shorthand step term, if a drug bonds to the enzyme, the enzyme has the ion at the active site, and the ion is at the oxidized state. So it forms the enzyme drug complex. So it forms the enzyme, which is the P450 drug complex, when the drug bonds to that. So after forming this, what happens is there is going to be an insertion of oxygen as shown here. So first, the ion get reduced by the reductant. When the drug bonds to the enzyme, it forms the enzyme drug complex. And the complex is getting reduced by the reductant. That gives electron to the complex to form a reduced enzyme drug complex. Then the reduced enzyme drug complex then get oxidized to form an oxidized enzyme drug complex. As shown here, if it forms the oxidized enzyme drug complex, then there is going to be another reduction, following by the giving of two hydrogens to form a water molecule. So here, when a water molecule is formed, then we have the oxidized enzyme drug complex. Then the drug, which is this one, finally leaves the complex as the oxidized drug. Now the oxidized drug is more polar in the body and can easily be metabolized. Let's look at the detailed mechanism of the enzyme. This one is a detailed one. Let's have a look at this. Now this is the enzyme. So the enzyme has at the active site ion held beneath by cysteine molecule. So we are going to take it one by one. Take note. The enzyme has its active site. This. The first step is the drug bonds to the enzyme at the active site. So we form the drug enzyme complex. So here the RH represents a drug, which is non-polar. We are trying to run it through the bioactivation cycle to make it polar. That is the action of the cytochrome P450 enzyme. So the RH, which is the drug here, here the RH represents drug, bonds to the enzyme to form the drug enzyme complex. In the second step, one electron is donated to the drug enzyme complex to reduce the ion from a 3 plus state to a 2 plus state. Take note, one electron, this electron comes from the NADPH. Is given from the NADPH to the RH complex or the drug RH complex to form the reduced enzyme drug complex. The RH, as we said, stands for the drug. Next, an oxygen atom is donated to the complex for to form the oxidized drug enzyme complex. Now, what happens is if this enzyme or the oxygen comes here. This oxygen then abstracts the proton or the electron from the NADPH and leaves the ion at a 3 plus state again. So the oxygen here comes in as an oxidant to oxidize the ion. So here, from the 2 plus state of the ion, the oxygen comes and takes this electron from the NADPH and forms a 3 plus state of the ion. So 
So at this age, we have the oxidized ion drug complex, or let's say oxidized drug enzyme complex. Now, this state of the ion is 3 plus because the electron from here has been abstracted from the, by the oxygen from this. So, this is the electron. The next, there is going to be a donation of a second electron from NADPH again, but this time the electron goes to the oxygen and not the ion. So in the first electron donation, it goes to the ion, but in the second electron donation, it goes to the oxygen. So the ion will still exist in a 3 plus state. So as seen here, this year, the oxygen will exist as in this superoxide. When it comes here, it will exist as a peroxide. So here, this state of the enzyme is a peroxide oxidized drug enzyme complex. Or here, this one is superoxide state of the oxygen. And here is the peroxide state of the oxygen. This electron goes to the oxygen and not the ion. But in the first step, the electron goes to the ion. In the next step, this oxygen atoms exist as a bimolecular. That is, it has two oxygen atoms and it must be broken. And the broken is done by donation of two hydrogen. So one of the oxygen to form two 